named Bob Wright. His son's name was Bill Wright. And together, father and son started their own law firm named Wright Wright and Associates. Wright Wright and Associates was famous for their lawsuits that left people penniless. They left the Easter Bunny penniless when they sued him for rancid eggs he left in a child's basket. They left Tooth Fairy penniless when they sued her for the insufficient compensation she left under pillows. But the biggest target of all was still left. Santa Claus. He too would be left penniless if everything went right. The father and son team found just the right client in an eight-year-old girl named Sue. Oh, appar- appropriately enough, Sue. There we go. Little Sue was upset that Santa had left coal in her stocking last Christmas. Right, right, and associates argued that their client had been put on the naughty list without cause. They presented lots of evidence that the girl did everything right. The only thing left was that Santa testified. Jingling all the way, he marched right up to the witness stand, raised his left hand, and swore to tell the truth. Santa said that while it might appear that little Sue had done everything right, there was one thing she did that left him no choice but to put the girl on the naughty list. This can't be right, protested Bob Wright. We left no stone unturned in our investigation, said Bill Wright. All the courtroom drama left Sue shaking with excitement. All right, I confess. On Christmas Eve, I got up in the middle of the night and ate the cookies that were left for Santa. I did think I didn't think there was enough time left to be put on the naughty list. Santa responded right away. Ho oh, ho oh, oh, ho, little Sue. I keep the naughty list in my left pocket at all times so I can make revisions on the fly. And with that the law firm of Wright Wright and Associates was left with no choice but to drop his frivolous lawsuit against Santa. And that year neither Bob Wright nor Bill Wright was surprised to find that Santa had left them coal in their stocking. But little Sue was shocked to wake up on Christmas morning to find that Santa had forgiven her for the frivolous lawsuit and left her a shining present right under the tree. I'm glad Santa left the something something in his left pocket, said Sue. Now let's see what he left me. The end! Alright, open the present!